Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you a colorful makeup tutorial, something that I normally don't do. And this is my very first tutorial since coming back from Miami and recovering from my wisdom tooth extraction as well as my chemical peel. So I'm going to do some skin chit chat as I film this video. So let's get started with the eyes. I actually already filled in my brows with the new Shimura Brow Sword. I mentioned that I bought this in Duty Free the last time I was in Japan. I really like this pencil. It's very similar to the Hard 9 pencil. This is the retractable version and it still comes in the sword shape, but it's more convenient because it is refillable and you don't have to sharpen it manually. So I do like this pencil and today I used brown because I used a lot of warm tones on the eyes. I'm going to start though with a white. This is the Glitter Cream Eyeshadow. This is brand new from Shimura and I bought this at the same time at Duty Free when I bought the brow swords. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this, kind of like a primer, because it is very emollient and I love the hint of glitter. Now I'm going to take the Satin Mauve color, or Mauve, Mauve or Mauve, depending on where you live, and I'm going to place this all over the eye, and I really love this color for every day. And I'm going to be quite generous with it, especially towards the arch of the brow. And you may have noticed today that I created a straighter, flatter arch, and that's just because I wanted to try something different with the brow pencil. And I'm not sure if it was successful or not, I'm not convinced but I think I'll stick to my regular arches for now. But I just love this color, so again, pack it on. You can also drag it down to the lower lash line as well. I know some people don't like to put color here, but I think that it really makes the look more cohesive when you do, especially for something this vibrant. Now, since I promised you that I would talk about the chemical peel, you might notice some dry, flaky patches that I have, especially around the deepest, darkest scars, and that's because my skin is still dry, it's still in the recovery process. Now I'm going to mix a hint of the orange with the red eyeshadow, and I'm going to pop this combination into the crease, and this is what is going to lend us that really warm, sunset feel. I'm dipping back a little bit more into the red because we don't want the orange to pull through here. We want that red to really shine and that's because it will pair really nicely with the pink. Anyway, going back to the peel, since I know some of you might be curious which one I tried. I tried Cosmolon. I've tried lots of chemical peels in the past and I did think that they were fairly good. I don't think, however, that this one was worth the money that I paid. It was quite a painful process and I've had peels where I shed a lot of skin, dead skin. But with the Cosmolon, I think that if you have a lot of melasma, it may be worth it. But if you just have acne scarring, I think glycolics and TCA peels work really well. You should also try microneedling if your scars are in the healing process. So that's just my two cents. But like I mentioned, my skin is still in the recovery process. So I'll give it a couple more weeks before I announce my verdict. Now I'm taking the brush that I used to apply the mauve color and I'm just blending that together just to make sure there's no harsh edges. And now I'm finally picking up that iridescent pink, applying it with my fingertip. I feel like the color payoff is really pretty with your fingertips. Now I'm going to take a hint more red and lifting my lid so that I get a good look at the crease, I'm going to apply a bit more red to deepen and add dimension. Now I'm taking my drawing pencil in a matte dark purple and I just thought I would switch it up from my normal black and I'm just going to gently place this on my lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually going to go over it with brown eyeshadow to soften it out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and line my lower lash line just up until the pupil. I'm going to connect the upper lash and the lower lash line. And this is my sunset eyelid complete, one without lashes and one with lashes. And because a look like this demands presence, I'm going to use my favorite flared Shumara false lashes. And of course, after I put on the lash, do I remember I forgot to put on the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the dark brown at the very end of the palette using a smudger brush, and I'm just going to sweep it on over the pencil eyeliner to soften it.
I blended a little along the outer corner and now I decided to go back and add a hint more of that pinkish purple to the center of the lid to really brighten it and give it that pop when you open and close your eyes. And now that the eyes are finally complete, I'm going to add a hint of color to the cheeks using the Tintin Gelato in Street Rose. And this stuff is so pigmented, you only need a really, really, really tiny amount to do each cheek. So I like to spread it out and blend. And that's a wrap for the cheeks. You just have to keep blending until the color looks smooth and even. So I really like that because it's not too drying on my skin. And right now, the last thing my skin needs is more dryness than anything mattifying. And last but not least, we're going to wrap up with the lips. Today I'm going to use the lipstick called City Neon. It's really lustrous, really smooth. And I'm going to keep it in the center of my lips. I forgot to scrub my lips before filming this video and yes, the chemical peel even affects your lips, it affects your whole face. Even out to my ears I saw dryness and peeling. So you do have to be careful depending on the chemical peel and even though my skin is quite experienced and used to these kind of treatments, I did see good results with the Cosmolon. I'm not saying that it didn't work but you just have to be warned that you will have severe dryness for a while. <laughs> but anyway, I love the way the lip came together, the lips are great. I love this particular lipstick because it's really smooth, it has a nice emollient texture, but it doesn't slip and slide around. So give it a try, let me know what you think, and don't forget there's a giveaway down below in the description box, so click that link so that you could win this collection and share with us your look. Thanks so much for tuning in as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye!